Guys, I'm discussing these five TV series that I enjoy. Uh, really, my idea is not really to do uh, like big in-depth discussions on them and reviews on them and that sort of thing. It's just kind of to bring you a little bit of attention to the five shows that I enjoy and just a little bit of something of interest in there along the way. Along with maybe some characters and just a little bit of the story outline and uh, stuff like that. It's not really to go in-depth and deep into the uh, details of the actual series itself. That would take far too long. So I hope you enjoy. All right? Hey, guys. What's going on? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I got a little project that I'm doing here. And I have five... TV shows that are more on the serious side, uh, that are my favorite TV shows of all time, uh, kind of in that genre and that kind of category, kind of the more serious. Now, two of the shows have some serious elements, but also a little bit of clowning around uh, from time to time, but they, they do have some serious elements and uh, some good story and uh, some good teachings. So uh, right now we're going to get on to uh, my first TV show that we're going to talk about. And they're not going to be in any sort of order. Uh, so let's get right to it. Now this TV show here is basically the outline of the 80s. Uh, yes, I was fairly young when it came out. But it still struck me back then, and it stuck with me from then until now. I haven't watched every single episode, but I've watched uh, four or five. I've watched at least four and a half or so of the seasons. So uh, the show is Miami Vice. Now, I have a little bit of stuff wrote down here on my uh, handy-dandy trusty notes. Uh, if you ever watch any of my movie discussions and stuff like that, you'll see that I pretty much have to have notes. I can't remember everything, guys. Too much stuff to remember. Now I'm just going to go over uh, a handful of the main stars that are in this show. Uh, we have Don Johnson as Crockett. We have Philip Michael Thomas as Tubbs. We have Sandra Santiago as Gina. We have Olivia Brown as Trudy. We have Michael Tabot as Stan Swift. We have Edward James Almos as Martin Castillo. We have John Dia as Larry Zito. Yeah, I'm not great with names. Now I'm just going to kind of read off here what I got uh, so I make sure I kind of say everything as I'm wanting to. Uh, I'm not going into big details about these shows because there's going to be five. Five, 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 five. Of them. So anyway, Miami Vice was something we've never seen. It took something familiar, a cop show, and made it hip. It started amazing fashion trends. It featured amazing music from the opening scenes, Jan Hammer, uh, to Phil Collins, Tina Turner, and tons more. This show was basically a mixture of MTV, music videos, cop shows, fashion, fast cars, women, and a whole lot more. Uh, the acting is top-notch, and all the characters get a chance to show their skills. Uh, in, some of the, in some of the episodes, especially, in my opinion, the first couple of episodes, uh, they could have been just a standalone movie. Uh, Really, it could have. It, it was just a really great uh, opening to a, a great series. And uh, so we'll go on. The score, uh, the cinematography, the mood, the feelings. Uh, there's even some comedy sprinkled in. And there's some goofiness kind of here and there. Uh, we can't get away from that. There is a little bit of that in there as well. Um it's perfect at, sh at showing you exactly what the 80s had to offer. Uh, the directing, the producing, everything was great. Uh, the only thing I can say negative about the show is whenever you watch some of the episodes, they kind of cut out. Just kind of in odd places like the editing. 
it's just kind of cut out, kind of weird. Um, and it, it's really noticeable in some of the episodes. It's like they'll be in the middle of talking and they'll just be like, and it'll be the end of the show or something. It has some, kind of some weird moments like that. But, uh, man, everything about this show was just so cool. So hip. So neat. So amazing. And uh, even as a kid, you know, it was a little on the serious tone, of course. I mean, it's about uh, all the drugs and stuff that were being uh, shipped in here during the, you know, the 80s and all that, uh, from like Columbia and, and stuff like that. A whole, you know, there was a whole big mess, uh, you know, uh, in real life. And they kind of made a, a, a show really about it. So, uh, you know, it, it had a very serious uh, tone to it with you know, prostitution and cops and lots of killings and drugs and just all kind of stuff. So, but as a, as a kid, you know, you just seen that opening scene and, and the larger than life, uh, flashy, uh, cops and the, you know, the fashion and, and just kind of how cool Don Johnson's character was and how suave, uh, Philip Michael Thomas's character was and, and, and just all these different things. And then you had the really stark contrast between um, between uh, Michael, no, uh, between Edward James, almost, uh, between Castell, uh, Castello, uh, his um, portrayal of the Lieutenant Martin Castello. Uh, he was a very rough, uh, very strict, stern character uh who didn't play around at all and uh so seeing him come in and uh you know kind of take over the part and and uh, the contrast between him and some of the uh, the other characters was really uh, interesting it was such a stark contrast but man there's nothing that there's nothing you can say really about Miami Vice except for just amazing it was really really uh the cliche you know you want to say it's ahead of its time well was it ahead of its time i don't know i just know that it was a really good show and still today it's still a good show and to me the fashion i love the fashion i still love it um if i was built good enough i would be wearing that kind of fashion <laughs> i just love it I, I like the way it looks uh the music just everything about it so if you haven't watched Miami Vice, you can find it online. You can find it on other streaming services and things, I'm pretty sure. So go check it out. So share your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Don't forget, guys, check out the playlist. That's where all my videos are. I have all kinds of stuff from something like this to cycling to art projects to throwing darts to reading books and cooking and taste tests and just all kinds of good stuff. Check out the playlist, okay? Even some video game stuff in there. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I actually live stream video games. The game I'm live streaming recently now is Halo 3 on the Master Chief Collection. I've really just started on that, so you're not far behind if you want to catch up real quick. Also, playlist on there. You can go back and watch the video games that I've been playing and stuff. I've went through... Halo Reach, Halo CE, Halo 2, and now I'm on Halo 3, I guess. So, yeah, we're moving right along. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, guys. All right, don't forget. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And have an awesome time doing it, guys. We'll see you next time on Mikey Sun TV. See you later. Get up, get out, get around and do it, do it!